might be called the Atlantic powers, countries that border the Atlantic, Spain, Portugal, France, the Netherlands, the United Kingdom, and the last century, the United States. That has been the epicenter of global power. We're now witnessing a fundamental shift from the Atlantic world towards the Far East. That is not to say that the Atlantic world is fading, but that the new political reality is rising in the East, with specifically China, and of course Japan, and then slightly in the background, India rising, and behind them Indonesia, the ASEAN countries, and so forth. That is a very major redistribution of world power and it creates a new conglomerate of the major powers. Probably by most rankings, the six most important countries in the world today are the United States. Then, in a larger sense, the European Union. Then, China. Then, Japan, Russia, and India. It is difficult to establish consensus among them because the interests are very divergent in several cases. But that is the new global center of political power. And it's a much more complicated one than the one that existed until recently. The second and very important change in reality in the world is what I refer to as a subjective change. And that is perhaps best described by the phrase global political awakening. We're living now in an age in which for the first time in all of human history, literally, 